if you're watching this video, there is a good chance that it's either because you have just tested positive or you think that there's a chance that you are positive. And I would like to, in this video, provide uh, some steps that I think will help you in dealing with the next um, couple of days, weeks, and months. Um, most of this is through first-hand knowledge. Um, and the first thing I want to let you know is that you're not alone. Um, you feel like you're alone right now. And it's a very scary place to be where you're at. But I want to let you know that there is help only, um, you know, an email away or a message away or a phone call away um, from many different places. So, first, the first step is very important for you. And I want you to listen right now um, as you're watching this screen and you're watching me. Step number one. Stop and take a breath. It, it seems like your world is, is crashing around you. Um, but let me assure you that you're going to get past this. You don't think you will right now. Um, but there's life beyond your diagnosis. The second step is really hard, and I'm not going to pretend like it's not. And it's don't beat yourself up. You're going to sit there and wonder how you know, how you could have gotten to this situation. You may be thinking right now, how was I so stupid? Why, why did I not pr use protection? Why did I, you know, use a dirty needle? Why, 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 why? And you're going to try to wrap your head around that, and the answer may or may not come, okay? The important thing is to realize that you're here at this point right now, um, and you need to move forward. The third step is very important. Again, it's not easy. Don't change your normal habits or your routines, if at all possible. Um, your first inclination may be to take off from school or from work. Um, and it's very important that you stick to your schedules because these things will help you to... Um, keep your mind off of your diagnosis as you try to deal with all these emotions um, and the other considerations of your new diagnosis. If your doctor is not an HIV specialist or sometimes called an infectious disease uh, uh, specialist or doctor, you really need to see an HIV specialist. Um, so you can find a referral online or you can have your general practitioner give you a referral um, or you can even message me if you feel like you have nowhere else to go and I can help you find a doctor in your local area that can help you. Number five is is a, a big one as well. Don't feel like you have to tell everyone or even anyone um, about your status. You just found out. Um, not everyone will react the way that you think or even the way you hope. You know, just remember, this is a lot of news for you. So, you know, it's sometimes a lot of news for your friends or family. Um, we don't live in a perfect world yet, and so there still is stigma. Um, and you only, it only takes telling one person and everybody knows. So before you tell anybody, be sure that you know um, through and through that that's what you want to do. Number six is repeat steps one through three. Stop and take a breath. Don't beat yourself up. And don't change your habits. The next step I'd say you're already doing. Uh, you can do it by YouTube or Google. I have plenty of videos on here, but 
do lots of research. Research this thing called HIV. What is it? <clears throat> and you're, you know, as you research, you're going to learn HIV is a virus. Um, the virus that causes AIDS, the Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Um, you're going to learn all about CD4s and T-cells and antiretrovirals. Um, you're going to learn all these things. And many of these things you can learn through my videos. Um, again, if and if you have any questions, you can send me a message and I'll make a video, or I will message you one-on-one -on -one and we can talk about it. Knowledge truly is power. The next thing I would recommend, and I've done it, is um, HIV support groups. There's typically groups for newly diagnosed, um, there's group for survivors, there's group for friends and family, there's all sorts of groups. And these are great places where you're not going to be judged um, and people understand. And then Another thing is, you know, most people that are newly diagnosed um, will go through a phase where they feel dirty or they feel like they have this virus pulsating through their body. Um, this fades. It's, it's, you know, I would say it's normal because um, it's part of dealing with the stigma. So initially you might not want to have sex. You probably don't want to think about sex. Um, and so it's normal for newly diagnosed patients to go through a period of abstinence. But let me assure you, this goes away, and over time your sex drive will return. Um, just be sure that you are having protected sex. Um, if you are positive, um, you are required by law in the United States to inform um, those that you have sexual contact with and those that... Um, healthcare professionals that come in contact with your uh, blood and semen and other things that you are positive. Uh, so it's important to know that. You know, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. As you sit and you watch this video, you feel lost. You feel hopeless. Helpless like there's no reason to keep going let me assure you there it is almost six months ago I was in the same place you were receiving news that you thought you could never handle or never never get but you take it one day at a time and if you do if you choose to tell your friends um, you know my friends have been a great source of inspiration and hope for me and they've encouraged me and they love me unconditionally. Have I lost friends? Yes, I have. Have I been treated different, differently by people? Sure. So I'm not wanting to paint a totally rosy picture for you and saying, oh, everything's going to be great. There are hard roads ahead for you. But with the support of friends and others who are positive, you will get through it. Is your life changed? Yes. It'll never be the same as it was prior to you getting that news. But that doesn't mean that your life and your quality of life can't be the same or better. Let others be there for you. I hope that I can be of some help to you. And if I can do anything for you, or give you advice, or anything, please let me know. Message me on Facebook. Twitter, here on YouTube, uh, however you want to get a hold of me, but I'm here for you. Until my next video, do something positive.